morning guys i'm gonna read maybell in the soup chapters 11 and 12 for you today so here we are chapter 11 eat and be eaten the cart rolled and clattered along the hall into the elevator down to the first floor and through a pair of swinging doors they opened into the busiest room in the hotel the kitchen this room was full of light and humans and feet Humans tossed salads, stirred sauces, chopped vegetables, and bread. Everyone hurried. And the noise! Spoons scraped, pots banged, blenders whirred, and the sharp blades of a garbage disposal roared in the sink. Maybell wanted to stay hidden under her pile of green beans. She'd tasted worse, but someone was rinsing the food on the plates into the sink. Maybell felt a rush of fear. The terrible mouth of the garbage disposal opened wide. A garbage disposal was going to eat her. When her dish was held under the faucet, she tried to hang on to it, but she was slippery with butter from the green beans. Swoosh! Off she went down the drain. The drain gushed with water that pushed Maybelle toward the disposal's great grinding teeth. If only there was some way to climb out. Suddenly, a long celery stalk washed into the drain and stood for a moment, half in, half out. Maybelle scrambled up the stalk as fast as she could and hung on. The stalk caught in the blades of the disposal and began to spin. Zing! Maybelle shot across the kitchen and into a blender that whirred on the counter. Boing! She bounced onto a twirling chunk of carrot. Zip! She rocketed out of the blender, sailed through the air, and landed on a plate of food. The kitchen workers were much too busy to notice, Maybelle. Someone tucked parsley around her, clapped a silver lid over the plate, and sent it off to the dining room. Safe in the dark under the lid, Maybelle was about to taste a hotel meal right off the plate in the finest dining room in town. This was more than even she had dared to want. Okay, chapter 12. Hello again. Meanwhile, Mr. and Mrs. Peabody sat at a lovely table by the window, looking just so. A waiter came their way, rolling a cart full of plates under silver lids. The Peabodys spread their napkins on their laps and prepared to be served. With a flourish, the waiter took a plate from the cart and put it down in front of Mrs. Peabody. For the lady, he said grandly, lifting the lid, Breast of spring hen in a sauce of butter and garlic topped with a... Maybelle sat on top of the hen with parsley tucked around her just so. For one terrible moment, she and Mrs. Peabody looked at each other. Cockroach! Mrs. Peabody hollered and pushed away from the table so hard that her chair tipped over. She landed on her back with her legs sticking straight up in the air. I beg your pardon, madam, the waiter said with great dignity, addressing her shoes. Cockroach, she whimpered from the floor. Surely not, madam. There are no bugs at the Grand Hotel. If my wife says that she saw a cockroach, she saw a cockroach, Mr. Peabody growled, helping his wife to her feet. And at these prices... In all the excitement, Maybelle fled to Mrs. Peabody's purse, the nearest dark place she could find. She comforted herself by sucking on a breath mint. Two human faces in two days. Mrs. Peabody picked up her purse and let Mr. Peabody help her out of the dining room. Bugs! Horrible bugs! They muttered as they went. Behind them, a room full of nervous diners scratched their ankles and checked under their lettuce leaves for insects. Mabel spent the rest of the night waiting for Henry in room 1010. Henry didn't come. <laughs>